In this video, we're going to configure PowerShell Universal to authenticate against Azure Active Directory using OpenID Connect. So I have a PowerShell Universal server running right here. Um, the one configuration change I've made is that I'm running on HTTPS. Uh, this is kind of like a soft requirement for setting up with, um, with Azure Active Directory. Uh, it's mostly uh, a security limitation uh, within Chrome and uh, Edge browsers. So uh, I'd say it's just easier to set up HTTPS. You're gonna have to do it anyways. So definitely set up HTTPS. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna log in and we are going to just see what's in here. Um, I pretty much have nothing configured. And in my authentication settings, you can see I have uh, just forms authentication enabled. So over in my Azure portal, what I'm gonna do is I am going to create a new um, app registration. So I'm in my Azure Active Directory tenant, the Iron Man software one, and I'm gonna click add app registration. And from here, I need to set a um, display name for my app. I'll just call it PSU, you can call it whatever you'd like. I'm just doing this single tenant. And then I'm gonna set up my uh, redirect URI right now. So I'm actually going to say web, um, and this needs to be the URL of your server. So mine must be uh, HTTPS localhost slash 5000. And then what I'm going to do is put in the redirect URL. So this could be whatever you want it to be, but it needs to match uh, within both Azure and within um, PowerShell Universal. So you'll set that in two places. So I'm gonna register that. And um, now the one other tweak I wanna make in here is I actually wanna go into my manifest and I wanna change the group membership claims. So by default, it's set to none. And what that means is when you log in, you're not gonna get any information about what groups this user is a part of. So if you turn on the group membership claims, you will see uh, those users show up. So I'm gonna say all. So there's other syntax you could put in here to um, you know, limit which claims come across, but I'm just gonna set it to all. So it's gonna bring me all group memberships. Uh, next, I want to create a client secret. So we're gonna need this for authenticating, uh, or to allow PowerShell Universal to authenticate uh, with Azure Active Directory. So I'll click new client secret. I'll just say this is PSU. Do note that these uh, expire. And we'll say add. And now you can see that we have our client secret. So this will uh, not be shown after uh, right now. So. Uh, I'm just gonna save that off, and um, we're gonna go back over to PowerShell Universal now and start configuring uh, Open ID Connect. So I'm on the authentication page. I'm gonna click uh, Add Authentication Method, Open ID Connect, and then I'm gonna hit the Edit button. Um, I can put my client secret in here and my callback path, so this needs to match what we put in um, Azure Active Directory. So this is slash auth slash sign in OIDC. Um, you don't need the full URL. You just need this, uh, the path part. Uh, now I gotta put in my client ID. So if we go back to uh, our portal, you can click overview and your application or client ID is this first GUID. Take that and put that into my client ID setting. Uh, underneath authority, we need to put in the endpoint to actually authenticate against. So you can get that from this endpoints uh, button here. It's gonna pop up this little drawer on the right hand side. And more or less we need like a portion of this URL. So we don't want the OAuth2 token part. We just want this first um, route with the GUID in it. So I'll copy this and come over to authority and remove the OAuth token part, so I'm just left with login.microsoftonline.com slash the uh, GUID. Um, from there, all the other fields are optional. You can choose if you want to um, enable any of these, uh, but I'm just gonna leave it as the basics and click save. So now my settings are saved, and to actually enable OpenID Connect, I can click this, and it's gonna uh, say that, you know, Make sure you know what you're doing because you may lose access to your PowerShell Universal session if you do, uh, don't know what you're doing. <laughs> so we're gonna say yes. And if you did make a mistake here, I'll show you how to get back in. So once we log out, it's gonna take us to the login page. And if I navigate directly to like the admin uh, console now, you're gonna see it forwards me over to um, uh, login.microsoftonline.com and I can select my account. 
and it's going to say that do you want to give permission to um, this PSU uh, application and I'm going to say yes and accept that and now it redirects me back into my um, PowerShell Universal Console and you can see that my name is now Adam at IronManSoftware.onMicrosoft.com so uh, one thing you can check now is if you actually go to your roles and you say view claim information you can see that I got a bunch of group information from um, Azure Active Directory. I have a bunch of dummy groups in our tenant, so that's what these are. And then this group and this GUID is kind of how you would map your roles. So, for example, I could take whatever group this is and I could hit edit and say groups and put that claim value in there. So now when users log in, if they're part of that group, they will be an administrator. Um, and then you could look up those groups inside Azure Active Directory if you wanted to. So uh, one thing I do want to mention is if you do mess this up and you can't log back in, uh, as long as you have forms authentication enabled, you can actually go directly to the login page. And then from there, you can actually log in with uh, the basic admin, um, admin and password. And it will take you in as that user. And then once you're satisfied with um, your uh, Azure Active Directory integration, you can disable that forms authentication so people won't be able to get in this way. And do note, like I, I set up that mapping for my groups and now I'm no longer an administrator because I don't actually have that group, um, that group mapping. But if I were to log out and log back in as my Azure Active Directory user, you'll see I am part of that group. So I do have the administrative um, drop downs on the left hand side here. So in this video, we went over how to configure Azure Active Directory with OpenID Connect inside PowerShell Universal.